Welcome guys to my review of the Kugo Kirin M4 Pro Mobility Scooter. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Just kidding. Look at it. Uh, the seat can be taken off, but there's a few reasons I have left the seat on. Comfort for one. And I'm not bothered about looking like a bell end, to be honest. It rides really well with the seat and the suspension. Um, so yeah, rear lights, front lights, 600 watt, 30 mile an hour, depending on weight. Um, it is a heavy, heavy, heavy scooter. It's not the heaviest, but carrying 21, 22 kilos in one hand is a challenge for most, um, but it's worth it. I mean, it's a great thing to commute on. Let's go for a ride. So, the Kugo M4 Pro, 500 watt motor, apparently 600 watt peak, um, it'd be quite interesting to uh, have a look at the controller and see how many uh, amps are going for it, I have a feeling it's more than 600 watt, um, but yeah, you've got three different speed settings, one will get you about 9 to 10 miles an hour, two will get you 19, 20, as I'm doing here, 19. And gear three will get you nearly up to 30 miles an hour. Um, now, say 30 miles an hour, I've not got up to 30 miles an hour yet. I've got up to about 28, 29 for a brief period, but I'm... 85 kilos and uh, that's sort of like the speed you're looking at if you're about my weight you're looking at about 27 top speed really um, so far I'm liking it I'm really really liking it I've done <laughs> only 18 miles so far but I've done I've had it over like three days and I've been out probably on six separate occasions But yeah, it's um, so far so good. So I don't think this scooter has been out long. Maybe a month to two months. Um, it's a 13 amp hour, 48 volt battery. It's about, I don't know. If I was to guess, probably like 700 watt hour battery. Now, the people are reporting on gear three, if you go flat out in that, that you'll only do 10 to 15 miles, which I'll probably say is about right. Uh, gear two, you can get about 20 to 25 miles. And if you just toot along in gear one, which is no faster than 10 miles an hour, you're going to get a good 35 miles out of it. So, you know, if you're conservative with gear three, you're probably going to get, on average, about 20 miles out of this thing, which is, I feel like it's enough for what it is. Oh, that was a big... See, 
it handles, because it's got massive chunky tyres and a little bit of suspension. Well, saying that, on the back, it's got a sprung seat, uh, a suspension seat post and rear suspension. And on the front, it's got, it doesn't even really look, it just looks like a spring. It doesn't really look like suspension, but it does work. It's a great little beast, great little beast. And 25 miles an hour, I'm well happy with that, for what this is. And I know everybody's gonna laugh at me because I'm using the seat, but I personally like it because it makes for a more comfortable ride. I know it looks a bit like a mobility scooter, But I don't think that's a bad thing, necessarily. Okay, it doesn't look cool, but think of it this way. These are illegal in the UK, and if it looks more like a mobility scooter, are you more than likely not gonna get pulled by having a seat? That's my thinking. And it does, from the side, it does look like a mobility scooter that's going down the road. Thank you. People looking at you from another planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Save your legs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hello. So, so far, since we've been out, I have done three miles. And it wasn't completely fully charged. So with a sag at the minute, we're, we're around 50 volts. So this obviously sags in that gear, one and a half volts. I'm more than likely going to put slime in these tyres. I know they're big and chunky, but there's still a possibility to get a puncture, and that's not good when you're tens of miles from home. Cheers. So, gear three, going for it on roughish terrain. 25. 26. So it got a lot better speeds. 27. Oh, I have to slow down. It takes a long time to get there, but it does get there. And I'm quite happy with it going over 25 miles an hour, to be honest. Because, let's face it, you can't do it all the time, can you? As I'm showing here, because you have to sort of slow down for people. A gear to a nice 18 miles an hour. 17, 18. I think you can get this right down to 40 volts before it starts acting up.
one thing I would say is make sure you tighten most of the bolts when you get it out of the box. I did, but there's still some stuff that I need. I need to take the front wheel off because the stem is. I'll have to show you in a minute when I get off, but for instance, the stem, I don't know whether you'll be able to see this. There's movement there, and there's also movement when you wiggle the steering, so there's a bit of play. I don't know how many degrees that is, but it's a fair amount. But that, I think, involves taking the front wheel off and tightening it from the bottom. So, as soon as I've got a fix for that, I'll put up a video. Um, I was round, riding around at night the other day and the RGB lights are uh, a police magnet. So, what I've done is uh, stuck insulation tape on there to uh, cover it up. But the, the, the light, the front light, is so bright. You can quite comfortably ride this at night. I mean, there's a rear light and a brake light. So, you know, people know whether you're slowing down or not. There's also indicators. Now, I'm not sure whether people, gonna, people from behind are gonna be able to see them. I'll show you where they are in a bit. But there's a left and right indicator there. You've got a horn. There's the beast. It's got everything you need, really. And if you can take it easy with it, you'll go some miles on it. This is excellent for commuting, I think. You know, if you've got five or six miles to go, This will be perfect. I'm trying to be courteous and slow, and slow down. All right, thank you. Obviously, you're going to get assholes wherever you go. The you your dirty looks, but <laughs> what are they going to do? Quite nice just cruising around in gear too. It's fast enough, it's faster than a Xiaomi. I don't know how what's the max speed on them pros after you've had them? Is it about 20? 48 volts, 13 amp hours. I think theirs is like 36 volt, 7.5 amp hours in it. So yeah. You're going faster. You're getting further. There's some build quality issues on this, but it's nothing you probably can't sort out yourself and tighten. It's handling these uh, this rough terrain quite well. I'm very impressed. And it's not as jarring as what you f would think it was. Suspension does work. 
I mean, this is only this is a six hundred pound scooter. I ordered it from eBay. I ordered it on a Wednesday, and I got it the Thursday. <laughs> so yeah, I got quick delivery on this. I don't like to wait for things unless it's worth it, or unless you can't get it anywhere else, like China, for instance. Then you have to wait. Oh, there's another issue. This brake needs a lining, but that's just a small, small little job. Take no longer than a few minutes. So, so far we've done five miles and lost three volts, maybe four volts. So gear one, what are we doing in that now? Eight. Fuck it, gear two. So I'm going to be doing a lot of videos with this. I'm going to be basically vlogging with it and the the DIY e-bike that I've got. Um, basically showcasing how reliable these things are. You know, even if you build them at home. You know, the bike is great and all, but it's, it's very hard to transport anywhere. But I love the bike. The bike is, it feels completely different to this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's lovely on top of that. So smooth. Yeah, so it's a bit creaky. There's things that need tightening even more. I mean, but I'm, I don't think I'm in danger of it falling apart. But if you're handy like that and you get one of these, tighten everything, tighten it all. So far, my ass isn't aching either. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you.
I haven't had anyone give me abuse yet, so that's a good sign. Thank you. I must look like a bell end as well. I've got a full face helmet on with a GoPro attached to the bomb. And I'm sat down on a mobility scooter. <laughs> That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, it's a bit cold. It's only like 17 degrees today, but it's not bad for this country. Skies are grey, as per. Let's have a quick little vape. Right, so so far we've done seven miles. And we have lost about four volts. So the scooter, um, rear suspension, front suspension, suspension seat post, and actual seat is sprung itself. So you got your light switch, which turns them on on the front and the back. And also, if I hadn't taped it up there, there's RGB lights flashing and dancing around under there, which, yeah, like I explained, I've uh, covered them up. They got a horn, indicators, you got an audible warning as well that you've got them on. And then if we do the left, not very uh, bright in the sun, but probably helpful at night. Um, what else have we got? So disc brakes. Disc brakes to the front and rear. Um, it's really easy to fold. So I'll go over the display with you as well. So one of these generic voltmeters, which like I've got on my DIY e-bike. On, off. That turns the screen on. You have to push and hold. And there we go. Mode changes the gears. Um, if you press the power button, tap the power button, it'll go through cycles. So, odometer, 22 miles total. Chip counter. Battery voltage. It's different from that. It's 0.6 of a volts difference, but near enough. I don't know what that one does. Front. It's got its own, the front light has got its own built in inverter, so if that does pop, you can easily find another one on eBay. But it has to be one of these 12 to 80 volt ones, which have got the inverter inside. Hey. What else? Ah, uh, one thing I did notice that all these cables were a bit tight when I got it like that, it's still tight, a bit too tight on the ignition, really. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Um, this light was a bit of a pain in the arse to get on. Right, back to it.
this is not nice. Better put it in gear one for a bit. I've been blasting around the number three for a while. Gear two is the best gear, I would say. You know, on full charge you're getting about 19 and I'm getting about 17 now, so it's the gear you want. Easy. like it. Cheers. Oh, that guy's problem. 